Omphalocele involves herniation of abdominal viscera through the enlarged umbilical ring and failed to return to the umbilical cord during fetal development. The viscera, which may include the liver, small and large intestines, stomach, spleen, or the gallbladder, may herniate. These viscera are covered by an amnion as compared to gastrocesis, whereby the intestines are not covered by any viscera. During embryonic development at four weeks, embryonic folding starts to take place, whereby the two lateral folds in the horizontal plane come together and close the midline, leaving a tiny spot for the umbilical cord. The folding allows formation of the guts within the peritoneal cavity. And during the sixth week, the liver and intestines grow very quickly than the abdominal cavity. And due to the limited space, it makes the midgut to herniate through the umbilical link in a normal physiology. In around 10 weeks, the cavity has grown enough for the midgut and the liver, but now the midgut and the herniated organs fail to return to the abdominal cavity, staying in the umbilical cord. Omphalocele occurs in 2.5 out of 10,000 births and it's associated with a high rate of mortality and severe malformations such as cardiac anomalies which represent 50% and neurotube defects 40%. Approximately half of live-born infants with omphalocele have chromosomal abnormality. Omphalocele is thought to originate from genetic and environmental factors such as trisomy 13, Trisomy 18 and Trisomy 21, together with alcohol use during pregnancy and obesity. The diagnosis for phallus is done prenatally through detailed fetal ultrasounds and laboratory tests to evaluate maternal alpha fetoprotein levels, which is usually elevated in case of abdominal wall defects or at birth during a clinical examination. The treatment for phallus involves surgery whereby the abdominal contents are returned to the peritoneum and the children are covered with antibiotics to prevent infection.